Hello, my best home friends and Lemon Pie Cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Market Punk here, with another studio album ranking. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this. Yes, I am ranking the Bathory albums, all 12 of them. So, this is actually my first time ranking them. And also, this is actually my first time hearing black metal genre. Not only black metal genre, but Viking metal genre as well. And a little bit of thrash metal. I'll get to that later on in the ranking. But anyway, I'm excited. So, I got as black metal as I could for this video for you guys, hopefully. Um... I'm excited to get into Bathory for the first time in this ranking. So, I'm gonna make this ranking very special for, for these bottom two because they both suck. It's gonna be 12 and 11 for this ranking here. So, I hate the fuck out of both of them, which are the albums called Octagon and Requiem. Fuck those albums. This is when Bathory starts. To go into thrash metal but holy shit they went into a wrong direction with these two this is not the best thrash metal album thrash metal albums i've ever heard this is the worst and yes it is compared to fucking saint anger it's like worser than 2.0 or something like that so these two suck this is when the mid 90s era really does suck for this band to be honest so these two Holy shit. So, none creativity whatsoever about these two. The trash, uh, the, dr the drums sound like pure trash can lids. Oh my god, it sounds bad. They really cheap out on the drums on these two. And the vocals, holy fuck. Um, the vocals in these two, I think this guy's about to die when he's singing. At the same time, it's ten times worse than Saint Anger, to be honest. Uh, yeah, these are two I never want to go back to, so, these are the worst two. I want to put 12 and 11 at my bottom ranking at this point here. Yeah. Okay, hopefully we'll get better in this ranking through 10 through 1, so, um, decent to, I think, are awesome Bathory albums from here on out. Ugh, I'm done talking about those two pieces of shit, but my number 10... 10th pick for this ranking is going to be Destroy of Worlds. Holy crap. This album right here, um, it barely sounds like Viking metal at all. It kind of sounds like um, a little bit of black metal and with a touch of thrash metal. So it barely sounds Viking metal at all for this album. It really isn't. The, the, oh my god. Um, the only cu couple of songs I do like from this is uh, O'Day. And lastly, Day of Wrath. So those are the only songs I like from this album, but holy shit. And they consider this a Viking Metal type studio album? No, I don't believe that. So what I read in the Wikipedia about this one. So mm, at least it's a tad bit better than the last two I mentioned. But uh, this is barely a Viking Metal album to me. But overall, my number 10 is going to be Destroyer of Worlds. Number nine, nine pick is going to be Blood Fire Death album. So this one is a little bit better in my opinion than the Destroyer of Worlds album. So yeah, um, it's another Viking metal album, which is actually pretty cool. So I still have a decent enough time with this one. So the songs I do like is Odin's Ride Over Nordland. A Fine Day to, to Die, Pace Till Death, Holocaust, Dies I Ray, and lastly, Outro. A few songs I do like from Blood Fire Death album, so I can have a decent enough time with this one. So, my number nine pick is Blood Fire Death. My eighth pick for this ranking, this might be controversial to some Bathory fans, but here we go. My number eight is going to be the original debut Bathory 1984 album, so their first debut. It's okay, but um, back in 90, 1984, uh, the audio quality for this first debut album, it doesn't really hold up for me. 
I mean, come on, it's the 80s. So, the quality of this is not there for me, but this is where they originally started from back in 84, so I can still have another decent time with this album as well. Songs I like is Storm of Damnation is a cool intro to this album. Uh, Hades, Reaper, Sacrifice, Armageddon, Raise the Dead, and lastly, Outro. This is actually their first black metal debut album they made. Um, but the quality is uh, here and there. It's kind of wonky for this debut for me. So it's decently cool at best to me. But overall, it's an okay debut of Bathory to me. So my number eight pick is going to be Bathory 1984. Number seven pick for this ranking is going to be Nordland 1 album. So Nordland Part 1 album. Uh, this is a decent Viking metal album I could decently get into, so it's pretty cool. So, uh, the songs I do like from Nordland 1 is Prelude, it's a good opening for it. Uh, Nordland, Dragon's Breath is a cool song. Uh, Ring of Gold, uh, Forever Dark Woods is an awesome long song. Kick-ass. Mother Earth, Father Thunder song. And lastly, Hemfard. So, those are the only few songs I like from Nordland Part 1 album, so, this is another album I can have decent time with, so, it's not even close to being the best Viking metal album in my opinion, so, my number 7 is going to be Nordland Part 1. Number 6 is going to be Nordland Part 2, their very last album they ever released before the original lead singer passed away, so. And then they split up after that, after 2003. So, this is sadly um, Bathory's last album they made, which is Nordland Part 2. I think I like this one a tad bit more than Nordland Part 1. So, songs I like this one. Fanfare is awesome. Blooded Shore, Seawolf, uh, Vinland, The Land, The Messenger, and lastly, The Outro. But sadly, this, this is their last Bathory album they ever made and before they split up and the passing of the original lead singer for Bathory. So it's kind of sad. That's why I brought this a little bit higher in my ranking. So this one, I have a decent enough time with this Viking metal album. So it's still decently cool nonetheless. So my number six is going to be Nordland part two, the final album. Ooh, I'm excited for the top five here. So. Um, for here on out for my top five, I think top five of these ba Bathory albums are actually pretty good here on out. So I like all the tracks in these ones. So be prepared for this one. I'm excited. So my number five pick for this ranking is going to be Twilight of the Gods. This is an awesome uh, Viking metal album. So this one's pretty cool. I like this one. I really enjoyed this Viking metal album from Bathory. So, name all eight of these tracks here. Twilight of the Gods, Through Blood and Thunder, I mean Blood by Thunder, whoops, mess that up. Blood and Iron, Under the Ruins, To Enter the Your Mountain, uh, Bond of Blood, Hammer Heart, and lastly, Outro. They repeatedly um, add the outro in every album, in my opinion. It's kind of a strange thing. But um, I enjoyed the hell out of Twilight, Twilight of the Gods album. And I think it's a really good Viking metal album they made for this one. So, my number fifth pick is going to be Twilight of the Gods. Number fourth pick for this Bathory ranking is going to be Blood on Ice album. So, this one's another great Viking metal album. What brings us to number four to me, um, it's still a good album. I like all the tracks in this one, but the quality is a bit low in my opinion in some spots of this album. So they recorded this back in the 80s and then finally released it in, in the, around the 90s. So pretty long, to be honest, to release this one, uh, the, the Blood on Ice album. So, I still enjoyed this album. This is actually a pretty cool Viking metal album as well. Pretty awesome. All 11 tracks I'm going to name out for you guys. Intro. Blood on Ice. Man of Iron. 
One Idol Manticore Song, The Sword, The Stallion, The Wood Woman, uh, The Lake, God of Thunder of Wind and of Rain, The Ravens, and lastly, The, Re the Revenge of the Blood on Ice. So, this one I can enjoy, although the audio is quite low in this album. So, this one I enjoy the hell of a lot for this Viking album, Viking Metal album, so I love this one. So, my number fourth pick is going to be Blood on Ice. Here we go, my Bath Sound friends and Lemon Pie Cuties. These are my top three favorites of all time for this, for the band Bathory here, so. These are my top three favorites, and a couple of them are black metal albums, which I do enjoy listening, so. My number three pick for this bronze medal winner is going to be The Return Album. This one is better than their debut. It's a hell of a lot better in a tad bit quality. So this is the one black metal, black metal album I do enjoy listening from Bathory. So, all the tracks I'm going to name out for this one because I love the hell out of this one. So, Revelation of Doom, Total Destruction, Born for Burning, The Wind of Mayhem, uh, Bestial Lust Bitch Song, Possess, The Rite of Darkness, Reap of Evil, Son of the Damned, Sadist Tormentor Song, um, The Return of the Darkness and Evil, and lastly, The Outro. So, this is considered to be the best black metal album of all time for, for the, out of all the Bathory albums. So, this one's pretty cool in my opinion. I think this is a tad bit better than their debut. So, my number 30 bronze metal winner, I have to give it to the Return album of Bathory. My number 2 silver metal winner, this made it into my spot of my ranking. This might surprise you guys, so... And it's actually a Viking Metal album, studio album, right here, so... The one I'm talking about is the Hammerheart album. To me, this is one of the best Viking Metal albums on this ranking, in my opinion. This is one of Bathory's best ones. So, Hammerheart is pretty fucking epic at this album, as it really is. This is why I'm really getting into the Viking Metal genre, it's really cool. So, this is one of the best ones Bathory has, so... I'm going to name all the tracks in this one. Shores and Flames, Valhalla, Baptize in Fire and Ice, Father to Son, Song to Hall Up High, Home of One's Brave, One Road to Aze Bay, and lastly, Outro. To me, this is one of the best um, Viking metal albums that Bathory made in my opinion. So this is one of their best ones in my personal opinion. So awesome Viking Metal studio album that they made in my opinion. So my number two silver metal winner, I have to give it to the Hammerheart album. I think it's pretty goddamn epic this one is. So there you go. But my number one favorite Bathory album out of all 12 of these albums, and it's gonna be my number one gold medal winner, is going to be under the sign of the Black Mark album. Yes, this is this is considered to be Bathory's be one of the best black metal albums they ever made. So this is one of their best ones they made. And holy shit, they're right. So fans love the hell out of this one. So me included. So this is my number one favorite Bathory album to you guys. So this one is awesome. If you want to introduce your friends into black metal, this is one of the albums right here. So, if you want to introduce them to this genre, this is the album to go to. So, this one is kick-ass for a black metal album. It's really cool. It's, it's one of the darkest Bathory albums they ever made from this um, era. So, I'm going to name all the tracks, all ten. I think the, all of them are awesome. So... Nocturnal of Sense, Massacre, Woman of Dark Desires, Call from the Grave, Equal Man Thorn, Enter the Eternal Flame, Chariots of Fire, Thirteen Candles, Of Doom Song, and lastly the outro. 
but this is personally my favorite Bathory album out of all 12 of these, so this is my number one gold medal winner right here. So, this is Bathory's best black metal album out of all of them, so there you go. And I hope you Bath Sound friends and Lemon Pie, Lemon Pie Cuties enjoyed my new studio album ranking. But yeah, this is, act this is actually my first time going through the black metal genre and viking metal genre at the same time for this band, so... Um, I hope you guys enjoy my opinion ranking about the Bathory on this one. So my first time ranking. So yeah, I, I consider these top three or five to you guys. So these are the best ones in my opinion. So please check out Bathory, guys. So I will put the metal Wikipedia or you can just look it up on Wikipedia. Who cares? You can easily find it. So on Wikipedia. So. All that stuff. I don't want to bother putting it in the description. But anyway, I enjoy Bath 3, guys. It's, it's, a, it's one of the coolest bands. But unfortunately, the lead singer died after he made Nordland Part 2. And uh, that's all I'm going to say, guys. So, pretty awesome band overall. I enjoyed listening to them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this new studio album ranking of Bath 3. If you enjoy this, a uh, new studio album ranking. Oh, subscribe to me if you haven't. Make sure you click the bell to get all of my notifications and and uh, share it most importantly so I get more views and more subscribers. And I will see you on my next ranking videos I'll do in the future for you guys. And seizure later.